I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the Landsmate if you are ready. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's queen. And I lead her armies. Ah, the Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. You should curb your tongue. This is my city, and no safe place to speak treason for anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, after Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. Truly, it is an embarrassment of riches. You are either very bold or very stupid to threaten the turn before witnesses. Enough, Kalthian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight. Your selfish ambitions to the throne. Kaelin depended on the Grey Warden's prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland.
Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Logan to show himself quite so soon. Calling the Landsmeet is only the start. Now we must ensure that every noble there sees Logan's duplicity. We have no small task ahead of us. We need eyes and ears in the city. Logan has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the Landsmeet. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the Landsmeet then. This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? Bad idea. Oh. Mm, flowers? Oh, thank you. They're very pretty. These were her favorite. Oh, I haven't seen these in such a long time. They smell just like Mother used to. Thank you. Thank you so much for remembering. This is a nice change from having to sleep in something I can help with. Yes? What's on your mind? Thank you so much. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. This is a nice change from ha something I can help with. Denerim is Ferelden's most important city, yes? This is the seat of power, the jewel in the crown of the king. She is Ferelden's heart. Her walls are strong, but within them lies so much beauty, just like the country and the people. Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? I hope all the accommodations are to your liking, Warden. So many visitors, so many chamber pots to clean. Oh, so many visitors. Sends no notices coming in other houses. If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. What do you wish of me? We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. Then I assume our discussion ends here.
If one more servant asks, what do you wish of me? If you must. Why do you ask me such questions? I do not probe you for pointless information, do I? Any number of cats could inform you of the answer to that question, but have it your way. What is it you asked if I grew up in the wilds? A curious question. Where else would you picture me? For many years it was simply Flemeth and I. The wilds and its creatures were more real to me than Flemeth's tales of the world of man. In time I grew curious. I left the wilds to explore what lay beyond, never for long. Brief forays into a civilized wilderness. For the most part, Flemeth taught me well. For all that I had been taught, however, the truth of the civilized lands proved to be overwhelming. I was unfamiliar with so much. So confident and bold was I, yet there was much that Flemeth could never have prepared me for. <laughs> Equal parts daring and foolhardy, perhaps. Only once was I accused of being a witch of the wilds, and that by a chastened who happened to be traveling with a merchant caravan. He pointed and gasped, and began shouting in his strange language, and most assumed he was casting some curse upon me. I acted the terrified girl, and naturally, he was arrested. Men are always willing to believe two things about a woman. One, that she is weak, and two, that she finds him attractive. I played the weakling and battered my eyelashes at the captain of the guard. <laughs> Child's play. The point being that I was able to move through human lands fairly easily. Whatever humans think a witch of the wild looks like, it is not I. Not that I did not have trouble. There are things about human society which have always puzzled me, such as the touching. Why all the touching for a simple greeting? To begin with, yes. What is the point of touching my hand? I find it an offensive intrusion. There were many nuances that Flemeth could never tell me of when to look into another's eyes, how to eat at a table, how to bargain without offending, none of these things I knew. I still do not understand it all, truth be told, but then I gave up long ago any hope of doing so. When I returned to the wilds last, I swore to Flemeth that I had no intention of leaving again. Yes, here I am. Well, let's get on with it before the ground opens up and swallows us, yes? Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Good, because it's likely to be your last rest for a while. This is Elena. She's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. The Queen, she is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. 
When he returns with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. So she goes to how? A visit from the Queen to the new Isle of Denrum is only a matter of courtesy, and she demands answers. They now know she is a threat to her father's power. I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on Arl Enum. We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. I have some uniforms. I'll how hire so many new girls every day. A few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the Serpent's entrance. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to House Estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. Indeed. Yes. Yes. So, let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar, no? I never actually became a Templar. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens before I took my final vows. Do you ever regret me? Strange that matters can be so tumultuous and yet the day still be so bright. Oh, my pardon. Just thinking aloud. Are you here for the Chanter's board? I am Sister Justine, curator of the reliquary of this chantry. <laughs> Pride again. <laughs> it is hard to live up to the example of Andraste. The archivist tends the books, and I tend the sacred relics. I also search for more to add to our collection, which is more difficult than it sounds. Really? Oh, pardon my incredulity. I would like to examine them in any event. Let me see. The scrolls are old, no question, and the script. It's written in cipher. Early believers used them to keep their writings safe from the Devinter Magus. These could be authentic. Please, let me examine it. I need parchment, quill, and ink. What was the trick to the cipher again? Ah. I examined your scrolls. I know a few of the early Chantry ciphers, but I'm not fully familiar with this one. 
the bits I have made out. This may be an account of Mafarath's final days, and perhaps more. I know it's remarkable. The same Mafrath who betrayed our prophet and saw her burn alive in Minrath Rus. If we could get a real translation, well, it could be the find of our lifetime. It could take months. The ciphers were designed to be difficult for the Magisters to decrypt. Who knows what secrets we can uncover, what truths we can find. Here is all of the allowance I have for acquisitions. Take it and go. A thousand, thousand blessings. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over. And so here is the mighty Grey Warden at long last. The crows send their greetings once again. And where is Zevran? I don't see him with you. How very disappointing. <laughs> don't bother. I know very well he travels with you. Here I am, Talisan. Tell me, were you sent, or did you volunteer for the job? Ho ho! And he makes an appearance. I volunteered, of course. When I heard that the great Zevran had gone rogue, I simply had to see it for myself. Is that so? Well, here I am, in the flesh. You can return with me, Zevran. I know why you did this, and I don't blame you. It's not too late. Come back, and we'll make up a story. Anyone can make a mistake. Don't be a fool, Zevran. I am no fool, old friend. You know me too well. I'm glad it was you who came, Talisan. This makes things... easier. As for you, Grey Warden, let us see if this second time is the charm, huh? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> And where is Zevran? I don't see him with you. Now, hmm. Then I shall need to seek him out once we are done. Here I am. Oh. I vaunt. Is... You can return with me, Zevran. That's true. You would need to be dead. <laughs> now there is the Zevran I remember. I am no fool, old... I'm glad it was you who... 
The servant's entrance is on the other side of the house. We must slip past this cloud to reach it. We will have to be very careful. Al Hau is inside. Yes, and wherever he goes, a great many guards go with him. I beg you, do not put my lady in danger for your revenge. We must get her out first. The estate is in poor repair. The new Al... He has not been very prompt in paying his workmen. I will be right behind you. No, the carpenter's craft all is had enough of how to be. Someone's creeping around down there. Go check it out. Time right. for more practice. Blue order death. Ah! Yes. All right. And I'm off. No <laughs> can distract the guards, but you must move quickly. Hurry! My lady does not have much time. Are you all prepared? I will go distract the guards. These two know who is allowed to come and go. They will not be fooled. But the uniform should work on most of those inside. I will lure them into the courtyard. Wait in the bushes.
What's on your mind? It is no trouble. What do you need? The servant's entrance is on the other side of the house. We must slip past this cloud to reach it. We will have to be very careful. Al Hau is inside. Yes, and wherever he goes, a great many guards go with him. Here, I will be right. This way. Oh, the darkness craft, all is that enough of how convenient. Time for my
can distract the guards, but you must move quickly. Holly, my lady does not have much time. Are you all prepared? I will go distract the guards. I will lure them into the courtyard. Wait in the bushes. Oh, you must come! I saw something! A bird of fountain! I think it was a dark spawn. Dark spawn? They will drag us all underground to be eaten. Should we call for help? Did you fall off a cart full of stupid? Call for help? So they can see us act like scared little girls because of some knife-eared wench? They will eat us all alive! Please get help! If there is something out there and we don't sound the alarm, we'll look worse than scared. And trust these holy knickers. Fine, we'll check the courtyard, if it'll keep you from wetting yourself. But there's nothing there. Thank you. Oh, it was over here. Quickly! Ah, oh, it took me forever to be rid of those two. You must be careful now. The servants, they will not look closely at anyone in uniform. All guards are alike to a cook, no? But you should not draw attention to yourself. Most of the guards are new. They will not know you for a stranger at a glance. It is best you keep your distance from all of them and try to blend in. She's in a guest room, off the main hall. Andra, stay guide us. This kitchen is a disgrace. How did the old farm serve No one ever said the chemicals. I say how ought to level and build a new Three nights in a row. For all we know, it's not much. The Grey Warden is here, my lady. Thank the Maker. I would greet you properly. But I'm afraid we've had a setback. My host was not content with leaving me under heavy guard. He sealed the door by magic. Find the mage who cast the spell. He'll most likely be at Howe's side. Thank you, Warden. My prayers go with you. 
Theron Howe will probably be in his rooms. They're at the end of the hall, on the left. Come. Someone's here. Look, you didn't say nothing. Wait, who are you? You're not on my watch. Call the watch. We've got an intruder. What? Who goes there? I thank you for creating such distraction, stranger. I have been waiting days for the opportunity. Do you think you could... Alistair? Is that you? Who... Wait. I do know you. You were at my joining. He's one of us. A warden for Morlay. Jada, I think. Or was it Monsumar? I'm afraid I don't remember your name. Amri Orden, senior warden of Jada. But born and bred in Hyava, and glad to be home. With an offer of hospitality and a poisoned chalice, I was fool enough to think Loghain didn't yet know who I was. I saw him go into the dungeons. He may still be there. I wouldn't be much use to you in my current condition. And if you'll pardon me, I have a sudden desire to breathe some free air. I will seek you out later. After I find a good physician. And good luck, brother. Now let's see, which one first? Go in. And I'm off. Yes. All right. Go in. All right. Yes. Yes. No, 
not happening. Sounding the horns for it. Sounding the horns for a treat. Do you hear it? Sounding the horn. They said to retreat. The horn sounded and we turned, and then the screams. We rode, and they screamed, and screamed, and... <sighs> Mother, can you smell the blood? They said it was only Darkspawn. But we ate them, too. They died, and we left them. In the swamp. The witch. The witch! He's obviously mad. I don't think you'll get anything more out of him. Safe? Is there a safe? Perhaps next door? Well, well, Bryce Kooslin's little boy, all grown up and still trying to fit into Daddy's armor. I thought Loghain made it clear that your pathetic family is gone and forgotten.
a clumsy appeal, child. He was a traitor to me and a coward to his nation. Trips to Orle, gifts from old enemies, all while I sank in obscurity. Your family squandered glory that was rightfully mine. How suitable that their deaths should raise me to the ear of a king. If you think you can take this from me, that I will allow it, you are very much mistaken. Now let's see, which one's first? <laughs> Over with. My thanks. Funny. Very funny. We must go quickly and avoid notice. If house people find me, I'll be killed. And my people will insist on escorting me back to the palace, where my father may also have me killed. Warden, in the name of the Regent, I am placing you under arrest for the murder of Rendon Howe and his men-at-arms. Surrender, and you may be shown mercy. Why stop now? Calthrian is all that stands between us and freedom. Are you sure this is what you wish? 
I'm surprised this ended peacefully. Bring the Wardens. Logan doesn't care about the rest. Eamon, we have a problem. Andraste, watch over our friends in danger. Calm down. What has happened? The Wardens have been captured. What? How could this happen? Never mind that. The question is, how to free him? Surely you mean them, Your Highness. We need Alistair too. Yes, of course, I meant Alistair too. Calthrian will take him to Fort Draken. Getting inside will be no small feat. Oh, you're awake. I was starting to worry. <laughs> Join the Grey Wardens. See the sights from the floors of the best prisons in the land. It's not much of a recruitment slogan, is it? I hope you have a plan. Help! Someone, help us! My friend is dying! What's the matter with you? Oh, trying yes. to be tricky, are we? Oh, look, it wants the flag, and I'm off. That's really. 